this is Christoph at Click with a Tuesday tip on ClickSense for you. Today I would like to show you how you can create a default bookmark that is dynamic. You often want to have the current system month or system date to be the default selection. And with the September edition of ClickSense and later, you will be able to do that. First of all, let's add a few data rows so that I have one year of sample data, which I prepared in Excel. I'm closing the Insights dashboard, going into the standard edit mode here. And I want to use the field year month. And I want this field to be matched to the current system's date. So you can use an equal sign and then start typing a formula instead of the standard search, which just searches in the values. Here, I have to retype case sensitive, the field name that is given, and I use an comparison operator, equals month start, open brackets, now open close brackets, close brackets, and there we go. It selects exactly the current month. I can also use like, uh, smaller or equal to, and I get year to date. So let's assume I've always want to have year to date. Nine out of 12 months are selected because we are in September. Uh, now create a bookmark, call it the dev selection or whatever, right click, set it as the app default. Um, now I'm removing the selection, save the app. So the app has no clue what I want to select. The bookmark hopefully will open it. And then I um, reopen the app. When you closed the last sheet of the app and reopen it, the default should apply. Go to the sheet and we will hopefully see nine out of 12 months selected. And there we go. So now let's assume we have October and I'm cheating here by turning the system date ahead. Close the app again. There is no change in the bookmark, still the same definition. And this time, as I open it, I will see 10 out of 12 months selected. That's great. So the only thing is how the hell did I find out that I need to use um, month start? Actually, this is an automatically generated field. And if you go to the script and into the auto generated section, scroll down to the bottom, there is a, a hell of code where all these auto generated fields are defined. And here you can search for year month, which is here. And here you can see that the formula for year month is actually month start. If it's a dual value, you can forget the first argument. That's just a text representation, but this is really the numeric res representation that is relevant for a mathematical comparison like uh, equal to or smaller than, etc., etc. So with that, that concludes my Tuesday tip. And I hope you can make a lot of your users happy by making default selections to the current month now.